Sirius is the brightest star and shines down on us from the northern sky as if watching over us at night. Legend has it that Sirius is the origin of the dolphins and that since the beginning of human civilization the dolphins have kept alive their link with Sirius. From ancient Egypt there are stories of beings that resemble dolphins coming down to earth. The Egyptian goddess Isis is also said to have come down from Sirius. The goddess Isis was said to link Earth to Sirius. She is often depicted with a fish-shaped crown. The pyramids were built. We still do not know how or why. But their links with outer space are many and visible. Once a year, Sirius rises earlier and faster than the sun. The ancient Egyptians celebrated this day as the New Year. The pyramids were designed so that the New Year's light from Sirius would strike evenly on each surface. Legends surrounding Sirius are found not only in ancient Egypt, but also in Western Africa. In Western Africa, the Dogon people have a legend in which the Nomo, fish-shaped entities with blue skin, brought civilization down to earth from Sirius. The Nomo, or masters of water, protected the tribe from evil spirits and guided the Dogon people in all spiritual matters. The Dogon were also astronomers and calculated the path of Sirius through the sky. It was only recently that modern science proved the exactness of their ancient wall paintings. How did they do it? Could it be that the Nomo really were the beings responsible for bringing civilization to humans? It is said that the Nomo dived into the sea and became dolphins, and that those that stayed on land became people. Is Sirius the dolphin's real home? What do they think when they see their home star twinkling brightly in the northern sky? This golden dolphin roof ornament is found in China and Japan. The golden dolphin originated in classical Greco-Roman culture, where dolphin statues symbolized the power of the sea god, Poseidon. The cult found its way to China, where the dolphin, symbolizing the water god, was thought to protect buildings against fire. This is why these statues are placed on large buildings. The golden dolphins eventually came to Japan, where many can still be seen today. In the great Minoan civilization of Bronze Age Crete, the dolphin was held in awe as a symbol of the creature that accompanied the souls of the dead to the afterlife. Murals in the royal chamber of the magnificent palace of Knossos depict dolphins. The ancient Greeks believed the sun god Apollo transformed himself into a dolphin to save a ship from sinking. 
A shrine was built at Delphi in honor of Apollo and of the dolphins. Delphi was one of the three most important temples of ancient Greece. The Delphic Oracle passed messages from the gods through Pythia, the priestess of Apollo. The temple of Delphi was attended to by monarchs and the masses alike. The root of the word dolphin and of Delphi is the Greek word delphinius, which means the womb or the origin of all things. According to an ancient Greek legend, it was the god Dionysus who created the dolphin. Dionysus was aboard a boat, disguised as a man, when pirates attacked him, not knowing who he really was. Dionysus, in a fit of godly rage, transformed the pirates into fish and threw them into the sea. These were said to be the original dolphins. Parts of the story were painted on the Dionysus cup. Several dolphins can be seen clearly, and even the boat is dolphin shaped. The sea god, Poseidon, also has strong links with dolphins. Poseidon was in search of a wife, and the dolphins found the beautiful Amphitrite in a grotto at the bottom of the sea. They married, and in his joy, Poseidon created the dolphin constellation. Poseidon and Amphitrite's son, Triton, had the upper body of a human and the tail of a fish. One of Triton's symbols is the conch shell. Triton is well known as the boy on the dolphin and is said to be a reincarnation of Eros. There are many stories from ancient Greece of dolphins saving people. One of these is the story of Orion, a famous poet and musician. One day he was attacked by pirates, and in order to escape, he jumped overboard where he was saved and brought to shore by a dolphin. His celestial harp ascended to the heavens where it is still known as the harp constellation. And the dolphin which saved his life became the dolphin constellation. Since the beginning of time, crystals have been known to contain a mysterious power and were thought to hold all the knowledge of the universe. People who held the key to this power could gain superhuman strength and universal knowledge. A long time ago, just such a culture existed, the lost continent of Atlantis. The people of Atlantis had unlocked the secrets of the power of crystals, but even today their culture remains clouded in mystery. Their knowledge of crystals gave the people of Atlantis unlimited psychic powers. The dolphins were the guardians of Atlantis. They were, and perhaps still are, the crystal keepers. At the beginning of the Egyptian civilization, 
The Crystal People came from Atlantis and shared their powers. The Egyptians became very powerful and corrupt, and Atlantis fell victim to the misuse of its own power. The Egyptian civilization eventually collapsed, and Atlantis disappeared into the ocean.